Hey guys, Regan here from Just Digital People. Today we are talking about how to format a resume. So I'm gonna be extremely biased towards the tech space, in particular the PHP space. So first of all, at the top, front and center, your name, maybe a few contact details, personal details and, and, and whatever. The biggest mistake I see is education first. Unfortunately, I don't really look at that and I don't even really think most clients that I work with look at that. Education comes last. First of all, start at the top with a skills matrix. So obviously in that PHP space, I want you talking clearly about PHP and then list the frameworks that you've worked with. Go into more detail about that. Then you want to start to talk about this, the front end tech that you've worked with and maybe JS, a basic skills matrix on the skills that you've been working with at least in the last three years and that you are keen to continue working with and that you know you can absolutely ace. Don't be listing anything that you may have read in an article somewhere. Tell me exactly what you've been up to in that skills matrix. Then it goes into experience. Right at the top, exactly who you've worked with, exact dates of when you've been there. I'm seeing a lot of clients come back with they're actually wanting to know the specific dates it's quite big to a lot of the HR personnel that I speak with then go into detail dot points of what you've done in that role specific dot points what you may have built what you may have integrated all that sort of stuff in your role and what you did below that have a clear, again, skills matrix of the exact text that you used in that specific role. Then it continues down with all your experience. Do not be going into five, six pages. It's just not something you should be doing. I say keep it short to two to three. Keep it to the, for the last five years if you're really quite senior. At the end, always feel free to put down references. You know, obviously available on request. That is always a big tip. No real need to put down the contact details unless you really want to. I screen probably 150 resumes a day. I literally look at these resumes from anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds and I can tell you whether I want to call that person or not. Think of it as a HR person or a hiring manager or a CTO. They only want to look at it for that long as well. Guys, if you want any tips around resume formatting, what to put in it, what you, what you think you should put in it, hit me up. I'm happy to chat about it. I do this for a living.